Good afternoon, my friends. Once again, this is Mangesh Surve, and uh, I'm really very much thankful to all of you for your great response for this social water awareness program, name as Know Your Water. So thanks from bottom of my heart. Uh, friends, uh, in this series, uh, today we'll be taking another very important parameter from the water testing and that parameter is known as TDS. Yes, friends, it's uh, nothing but uh, uh, total dissolved solids. Now, this parameter is uh, very wrongly taken by uh, the people and there are a lot of misunderstanding about this parameter. Uh, so, I'll be covering all that uh, understandings or misunderstanding about this topic. Uh, so let me start with uh, wh what is TDS. So uh, friends, uh, see uh, the uh, normal water, right? Uh, the chemical formula for the water is H2O. The purest form of water is a combination of H plus ion and OH minus ion, right? So anything apart from these two elements, that is H plus and OH, combination it forms H2O. Anything apart from these two parameters can be known as a water impurities, right? Now there are so many uh, uh, water impurities uh, present in the water, uh, but those are mainly categorized into the three form. Uh, one is uh, physical impurities, second is the chemical impurities or dissolved impurities, a third one is the microbial impurities. Now today we will be talking about this uh, dissolved impurities. Now, what are the dissolved impurities? See, dissolved impurities are the things, first of all, you cannot see. You cannot see it, but it dissolves inside the water, right? So, thing is that a uh, lot of minerals like uh, uh, chloride, sulfates, iron, uh, calcium, magnesium, bicarbonate, there are a lot of minerals. If you count it on your fingertips, it will be more than 500. More than 500 number of elements are there in water, right? So, the combination of these all elements uh, can be called as a total dissolved solids present in the water, right? So, <clears throat> what happened? Uh, suppose, suppose uh, I am having the three water sample. One is uh, our regular corporation water or the dam source water. Second is our package drinking water. And third one is our borewell water. Right now, I, I, I will tell you the uh, major distinguish between uh, these three sources of water. Now, if you put uh, the TDS meter, uh, there is a meter uh, uh, which is called as a TDS meter. If you dip that TDS meter in a water, it will show you some ring on top of it. Right. So, if you dip uh, that TDS meter in a typical uh, borewell water. It will show you the TDS in the range of 300 to 700 ppm, depend on the different different uh, area and, and different strata, right? If you dip that TDS meter in a carburetion water or the uh, dam water source, it will show 80 to 120. Now, why 80 to 120? There is a you know, always uh, seasonal variations, right? And if you dip that TDS meter uh, into the packaged drinking water or RO water, it will show the uh, TDS range in uh, 30 to 40 ppm. Now the question is that uh, uh, what 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 level of TDS is good for body, right? So friends, you will be surprised by this answer. 500 ppm of TDS you can easily drink. As per IS 10500-2012, right? So, uh, in spite of saying that 500 ppm is good for uh, your health, why we are looking for uh, uh, the packaged drinking water which is having 30 and 40 ppm of TDS? Now, there is a big question for this and you all of you are knowing that this is a very big industry, right? So, thing is that... Uh, and though, though the TDS level of uh, borewell water is 400, 500, you cannot drink that water. Try to understand this. Now what happened, though TDS is 400 or below 500, other contents like hardness, other contents like chloride, other contents like sulphate, 
other contents like whatever comes into uh, the dissolved state of uh, that water you have to taste that first right if all these parameters which i have stated the hardness chloride if it is above the limit you cannot drink that water so try to understand right so what to do now borewell water 400 500 ppm if certain parameter goes above the limit you cannot drink that water right uh then what you need to do uh basically the water which is present in dam right it is called the surface water typically the carbonation water, water uh, is made from that uh, there is a there is a plant uh, there is a treatment plant uh, carbonation handling and uh, they are treating it to a certain level right so that water you can directly use for drinking purpose and that Uh, the tds value is around uh, as i said 80 to 120 ppm now that water is really good for health because that is first of all that is a surface water it attracts so less minerals right uh, why the tds level of borewell water is so high because when water goes underground it attracts so many minerals it attracts so much of calcium magnesium salt and that's the primary reason that you cannot drink uh, the borewell water directly now the third question is that uh, the uh, whether ro water is good for health or not friends uh, uh, there are so many questions uh, so many friends ask me uh, mangesh uh, the, there is like this news the ph of uh, ro water is not good or ro water is not uh, good for health what is your opinion uh, today i am telling you friends uh, first of all any ro water or packaged drinking water test it for the ph if the ph of water between 6.5 to 8.5 you just simply click yes for that second thing is that tds now see what i done during the ro process lots of minerals get removed so for that purpose you should have to confirm that the mineral or the tds value of that water should be between 60 to 80 at least 60 to 80 right if it is 100 and 120 is good i would say right so test our water for these two parameters first as i said ph and second with the tds if if our water not producing the tds to this level so there is a there is a knob which is called the tds control which is actually which is a bypass to the raw water and directly comes to your uh, uh, drinking water so uh, by 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 that me- uh, method you can adjust the tds of that ro water so if you are maintaining these two parameters it will be very very good and uh, you can drink water so my friend if the water is having the tds level of 100 and 120 as present in the carbonation water simply uh, pass that water through the ultraviolet rays or ultraviolet purifiers so that uh, the microbial contaminants get removed and you can easily drink that water ro water if you want to drink test ph and tds for borewell water there are certain things which will be out of uh, out of uh, you can say uh, uh, the desired limit uh, of drinking water you control it out and then you can drink that water so uh, again this is a very very big topic uh, to discuss and uh, to have the debates also uh, so you can connect me directly uh, on this topic and i can i can give the better idea uh, further so friends uh, thank you very much uh, today to offer me this opportunity to clear little bit uh, the uh, very much tedious part that is the tds total result uh, solids of water uh, so we'll be meeting uh, again for the next topic on this uh, similar line so thank you very much and uh, have have a have a better life have a better health than you are thank you